Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to change the price and value display format in the Sierra Chart platform. Now, by no means is this process necessary, but everyone does think differently. Some traders may feel the need to display the price value in a particular format, or have all their symbols display the same universal format, and this video will be for those traders. So first up, let me show you how to set the value format for a main price graph. Now normally the display value format is actually dictated by the data feed, so we'll need to go into our chart settings and change that. So first, if you haven't already, you'll need to open up a chart. And once we have a chart open, we can go to the top left hand corner of our window and click on the chart tab. And underneath the chart tab, head over to chart settings. So as I said before, normally the price value format is automatically set from the data feed. And if we go on the main tab, the first tab that is open when we open up chart settings and scroll down just a few columns, you'll notice there is the auto set from data feed option and you wanna disable that. Now mine is already disabled, there's no checkbox, but if it is checked off, make sure it is unchecked. That way we can custom input our own display format. So now that we've disabled the auto set from data feed, we can put in our own custom dimensions for our price display format. And you can do that right above the auto set from data feed option. As you'll see, there is a price display format. And if we click on this drop box, we can select the display format that we'd like to set for ourselves. So as you can see, there's in fractions, we can put it in decimals as well. Now, if you back out of the drop down menu, you'll notice right below the price display format drop down menu, there is the tick size option box. And we can manually enter in our own parameters in the tick size box. So by default, it is at 0 0.250000, and we can adjust this accordingly. But it is worth mentioning that if you do adjust the display format drop box, that you may need to adjust the tick size as well. And this is because you'll need to match the tick size format with the display size format. So at this point, if you have changed any of your settings, you can click apply on the bottom of the window. And if you did change the price display format or the tick size, you may need to adjust one other setting as well. So if you've done as I mentioned, head over to advanced settings too, and scroll down just a bit until you reach the currency value per tick. Now, once again, if you have changed your price display format as well as your tick format, you may need to adjust the currency value per tick box to adjust accordingly. That way it matches the tick price that you did set. And it is worth noting that if you have made any changes, be aware that you have to be careful when altering tick size when performing on live trading. It needs to be set correctly in the value values need to match up accordingly. If you did make the following changes and you did need to adjust your currency value per tick to match the tick price that you set, you can now click apply and we can back out of this window. Related to the value format for the main price graph, there's one more feature here that can be adjusted as well. If you're familiar with short format for fractions, you can have your display output in short format. Essentially, what format, short format does is remove the denominator from the equation. So let's say, for example, your price output was 100 in 10 30 seconds. Normally, that would be displayed as 100 and then 10 divided by 32. In short format, you get rid of the denominator, so only the numerator displays. So essentially, the output would be showed as 100, single quote, 10 rather than 10 divided by 32. So if you would like to apply this to your settings, simply head to global settings in the top tab, go to general settings, general two, and on the right column under the display fractions in short format, we would simply enable that and click apply. Now there are a couple other places within the platform that you can change the display of the price format. The next one I'll be showing you is for studies. So if you were added to add a study to your graph, you would simply go to analysis tab, 
and then click on studies. Now you can change the display output for output for any of the studies that are here available. So for my example, I'll add the ADX study. And by default, the settings should pop up automatically. If not, highlight the study you'd like to in, enter your settings for and click on the settings button. And then scroll over to settings and inputs. This should be a universal tab for all the different studies without the platform. And if we scroll down just a bit, you'll see the value format drop down box. Once again, simply select the value format you'd like to be displayed for your study and highlight and click. And then we can click apply. That is how you change the value format for studies. Now there is one final way that you can change the display output and that is for each specific symbol. So if I head over to global settings in the top tab and then head over to symbol settings, if I highlight the symbol that I'd like to change the display format for, it doesn't matter, they're all the same settings wise. As you can see here on the right hand side underneath the description, we have the price display format once again. So you can change it to your specific liking. Again, we have all the different fractions and the different decimals that we can select. And you can also change a tick size here as well, as well as the current per value per tick. Now, if you do change these settings in the bottom left hand corner, I would suggest to disable the override existing settings when automatically updating from the server. That way, every time the server does reach out to that symbol, your settings won't be overwritten and they will stay as what you applied. So I will uncheck that and click OK. If you have applied those settings correctly and uncheck the box that I did tell you to, now every time you do open up a new chart, the symbol settings that you applied will automatically be updated into the brand new version of that chart. Unfortunately, this method only works with new charts. For those of you that do have existing charts with a bunch of different studies or something that you just don't want to delete, you can still edit your symbol settings for these charts. So if you do have an existing chart, simply just head over to the chart tab in the top left and go to chart settings. Scroll over to the right hand side of our chart set main settings window and simply click apply global symbol settings. This will essentially take those symbol settings that you just applied to that specific symbol and apply it to your existing chart. So simply click apply global symbol settings, click apply and then click OK. And the symbol settings that you just applied will now be applied to your existing chart. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.